everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a really exciting video. It feels like literally forever since I've filmed, so I'm really excited to be back. Um, if you guys follow me on Twitter or you watched not my last video but the video before that, you would know I broke my camera lens, which was super tragic and I cried a lot. I was really upset, but anyways, I broke my lens and sort of this piece of hair, it's gonna drive me crazy. Um, yeah, so I broke my lens and it got shipped back to me and I have it and I'm really excited to start filming but during that time that my camera was broken me and my mom went to the state shopping and I purchased a lot of things they're all like on my bed right now which is why I like looked over there but I purchased a lot of things I want to show you only a few beauty items so I will start with those and then the rest of them are just clothes if you guys like hauls definitely thumbs up this video and let me know what kind of hauls are your favorite Personally, I love watching clothing hauls. Those are like my all-time favorite videos. So let me know what your favorite video is and just keep watching if you want to see this haul. So the few beauty items that I got. The first thing was this Forever 21 palette. It is the Love and Beauty eyeshadow palette. The packaging is actually so pretty. I really like it. And the colors inside are also really gorgeous. And the next thing I got are a pair of fake eyelashes. I actually got two pairs. I'm sorry, my cell phone went off. And I'm wearing the one right now, and then the other one are obviously still in the packaging. And then the last beauty item, actually no, this isn't the last, this is the second last beauty item. I got the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay. You guys have obviously all seen this palette. It is beautiful, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. I'm really glad that I invested in this palette. And then also I got the Wet n Wild Blush in Mellow Wine. This color is really perfect for summer and it's only $2.99. So I'm going to be doing things a little bit different this time. I'm going to be showing you just by holding it up of what I purchased. And then you'll see like a video clip on the side where you can actually see what it looks like like on I just figured that holding them up you don't actually get to see what it truly looks like on so I thought I would do that for you guys but the first thing that I got is this black dress you'll see that it has a lot of like lace detailing or I hope the camera at least picks it up it is really really pretty it's just like that perfect black dress that everybody needs and I got this from love culture and for some reason I can't find the tag but it was like $13.95 on sale from like 20 or something. I'm not going to be going in no particular order either these are just clothing from like JCPenney forever 21 love culture and oh a thrift store as well so I'm not going to be going in order if that's annoying let me know in the comments and I won't do that for the next video but I just have them all in my bed so I don't kind of feel like spreading them all out and sorry that was my phone again anyway so then the next thing I got was this shirt from JCPenney it's so beautiful like this was probably one of my favorite purchases the whole like time I was there so it's really nice pretty cream color with like a really coral orange more of like a sorbet thing that I got are these pair of shorts they're from forever 21 it's actually it's like a skirt so it's shorts like I it's sort of hard to tell so it's like shorts but then the material goes over a little bit more so it looks like a skirt so I guess it's a score. I don't know. I feel like that's the name for it. And then from JCPenney, I purchased these light blue shorts. I'm so excited to wear these. Like, you have no idea. I wish they had mint ones, though. That would have been, like, amazing. The next thing that I got, I'm actually wearing. And the reasoning that I'm showing you this is because I have one that's hanging up. It's just in a different color. This one's, like, a really nice peachy sort of color. And then the one, it's the exact same shirt. And this one is more of, like, a purple, um... They're like that, what is it called? Heather, Heather, is it Heather? It's something. It's like that material that is like see-through and there's like darker little specks. I don't know what that's called. The next thing I got is like crazy bright. It is this tie-dye shirt. I am like so in love with this because tie-dye is coming back in this year and which is so funny because I feel like it's one of those trends that I would have never thought I would wear tie-dye again because I used to wear it like obviously when I was a little bit younger. But I am so excited for this shirt. Super, super bright, super tacky. The next thing that I got, I actually purchased from a thrift store. I went to like a Salvation Army in Port Huron or Sterling Heights, or I think it's called Utica, actually. Anyway, so I purchased this. It was like, I probably saw the tag. It was so, so cheap anyways. Um, $3.99. So, I mean, totally good deal. I just think this is going to be really cute to pair with like a, I don't know, some nice shorts like white shorts or something. Um, it's just a nice purple color with these like random leaves, which I don't know, kind of like it reminds me of an old lady, which is probably why I like it. And I like things like that. I don't know. I'm kind of weird. Um, the next thing that I got was from JCPenney. It is this Hello Kitty shirt, which is seriously like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I think it was like $8 or $7. It was really cheap, whatever the price was. And I like 
literally fell in love with it and I was like, I need that in my life. I don't even care how much it was, I needed it in my life. Because it's just so cute and I don't know, I'll probably wear it for pajamas mostly, but I just absolutely loved it. And the next thing is also from that used clothing store. It was supposed to be $2.99, but it was like half off all the yellow tags. So it was only a, like, what is that, $1.50, which is obviously an amazing deal. And it's just like a nice, I don't know, kind of sheerish, uh, mustardy yellow. Um, yeah, I just think this is really cute. I feel like you could get something like this at Forever 21, but it'd probably cost you like 10 or $15. So I mean, for $1.50, obviously you cannot beat that. That's like an insanely good deal. And then the next thing I got, um, I'm actually so excited about this too. I forgot that I even purchased this. I got these items like a couple weeks ago and I haven't, like, I've worn a few of them, but I've like kept them in my closet to make sure that I filmed this video. Um, so yeah, this is just a skirt. It's so see-through though, so I don't even know what I'm going to do. I need to figure out something, but I cannot pass it up because it was like totally adorable. And it was $22.80. Um, yeah, so it's just like this pencil sort of skirt, uh, like a white, like a light cream. Um, whew. Anyways, it's like a light cream and I just think it is so pretty. It's very form-fitting, which I like. It's like literally all over the place. I feel like I'm going from shorts to skirts to pajamas to just everything. Um, but anyways, I got these track pants from Love Culture. They were on sale for ten or for $9.99, but on the rack it was buy one get one free. So I got actually two pairs. The one I'm not going to show you because it's dirty. They look exactly like this, except for this part here is grey instead of pink. And the back just says peace, which I think is kind of cool. And they're just like literally black jogging pants. And the next item I got, if you watch my outfit of the day, which I will link down below if you've not seen it, I wore these shorts. They're like a rose pink sort of shade, just those crochet shorts that are super in. And I just think these are so beautiful. I got them at Forever 21 and they're like, I love them so much. They're like one of my favorite pairs of shorts. And then from Forever 21, I also got just like a white plain tank top, which, or tank top, t-shirt, which I will also link that video down below because again, I wore this in my outfit of the day. And then the next thing, okay, this is my favorite item. Out of, I'm trying to like see everything. Yeah, this is by far my favorite item and I got it from the used clothing store. I just, oh, I'm so obsessed with this. It is this sweater, um, which is so adorable. The sleeves aren't like super, super long, maybe just because they're short on me. This probably is, doesn't even fit me how it's supposed to, but I think this is like so beautiful. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a really nice light blue minty kind of shade and then it has this like amazing detailing all on the front and honestly this looks brand new like I can't believe it was used and I think this was $4.99 which oh such an amazing deal. I love thrift stores. They're only my favorite place to shop because you can get such cute things for so cheap. Next thing is just a pair of pajamas. They're just these silk cheetah print with a little bit of lace or lace a little bit of red detailing. Um, the top looks the exact same much, which I think is really cute. On camera, it's coming up a little bit brighter than it is in person. This was also from the used clothing store, and it did have a yellow tag. So it was supposed to be $4.99, but it was $2.50, which obviously is an amazing deal. I like how you can stick the straps inside and just wear it as like a clutch, or you can wear them out and have it like obviously around your body. Um, I really like this. It's like a really nice coral shade. I just want to apologize. I realized that my bra straps were like hanging out this whole video and that's kind of embarrassing. So I'm sorry that you guys had to witness that. I hate when bra straps show and like now I'm like the queen of showing your bra strap. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy. I have a few more hauls coming. I have a shoe haul. I have a H&M haul. I didn't want to include it in here because it was from my local H&M and plus there's just way too much going on in this video and also I want to be or I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial on that like side twisty braidy thing that I normally wear. I want to do a current favorites video because I miss doing my June favorites because or May favorites. My May favorites because um yeah with my whole camera ordeal. And what else? There was a couple videos that I wanted to film, but leave any suggestions that you guys have done below like always, and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.